Louisiana Beer Reviews. Upslope Christmas Ale. Upslope Christmas Ale is brewed and sold in Colorado. In fact, only Colorado from what I understand. Dale Roberts sent this to me. Thank you, Dale. I'm looking forward to trying it. 8.2% alcohol, so this is a strong one. 25 International Bitterness Units. It gets an 83, or a good score on Beer Advocate, but only 32 ratings. A 42 out of 100 on Ray Bear, 46 out of 100 for the style, but with only 16 ratings. So we're only looking at a 48 score uh, ratings, or scores given. Uh, it uses water, they say snow melt, <laughs> water, malt, hops, Abbey Ale Yeast, and Holiday Spices. Okay, let's check it out. <clears throat> Put it in this nice glass that I bought for a quarter at a church garage sale. Alright, well, thin kind of cream colored head that dies right away. It might have fizzed up more in a narrower brim glass, but I don't know about that because it didn't make too much of a hiss when I opened it. It just kind of went plop. Okay, that is a very bubbly reddish brown appearance and it is clear. Yes, it's a clear beer. A clear beer. Alright, it say they say on rape beer that it's a Belgian dark ale, but then on Beer Advocate they're saying it's a a vegetable, a spice beer, or that might be flip-flop, but one of them saying one and one saying the other. Let's go with the aroma. Um, uh, wow. It smells weird. There's like some smokiness, some bread crust, which is a common thing in beer. <sighs> Maybe some odd spices, some sweetness, but it's one of the strangest beers I've ever smelled, but there's nothing bad about it. It's almost hard, it's, it's very hard to describe, but it's pleasant. Let's go with the flavor. That same weird smokiness. Almost make you think it's a rock beer. Definitely spiciness. But I don't know what it is. Maybe some fruit, like orange peel or something. Some white pepper. Um. There's a pretty good amount of bitterness. I don't know what the IBUs are, but it's pretty bitter. Oh, I'm sorry. 25 IBUs. <laughs> That's what happens when you, you've been up since 340, 340 up, 3.45 a.m. But, um, maybe cherry. I don't know. This is really weird. I mean, I, I cannot adequately describe it. But it definitely has a presence, a forceful, bold presence, and I don't know about alcohol. Um, the mouthfeel is um, at least medium, maybe medium to heavy, and a little prickly, believe it or not. And the finish is pretty dry. Dry, almost powdery even. <laughs> and the drinkability is okay. It's a sipper. It's a weird, weird beer. I mean, it's certainly worth trying because you probably never have anything like this again. I saw there's only one other video review for it 
on YouTube so far, and they liked that was from two, 2012 last year. They liked it, you know. They were saying, "Oh yeah, it's pretty good." They were from Colorado, but uh, made me for a minute think of Cherry Kiafa, <laughs> but not that strong cherry. I don't know. This, this is weird. How would I rate it? Mm, it's hard to rate. Does have sort of a brown ale back taste. Uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm going to give it an A minus because I think it's excellent in the in its mystique, its mysteriousness, and uh, it is interesting. It's very interesting. There's nothing boring about it or dull or blah. There's nothing harsh or bad about it either. So I say it deserves an A minus. It's excellent at the lower end. Um, but it's uh, certainly worth checking out. So, laissez les bon temps This is an interesting to the hilt beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.